Okay, so we're back. This is the A-Frame project. So this is video two of the A-Frame project. Um, I went ahead and added the the other framing on the other side here, as you can see. So what I want to do now, there's a chimney I want to add, and I want this chimney to protrude through the inside and and you know and protrude through the exterior. So the way I'm going to do that is this: I'm going to create in place mass and we can just name this chimney okay so let's go ahead and just create a rectangle um, let's see we can do we can do a big chimney but let's do like a 10 a 10 by 6 okay and I want this centered so I'm gonna go ahead and center it with the wall here. We're going to move it again. We're going to center it on the wall. Where's that point? Point there. Well, let's do it this way. And move it again. Center it here. Because I want to have it protruding through the back. So to extrude that mass what you need to do is select the rectangle that you created and then create form and you get this axis here and you know you could move it you know these these three directions you know your X Y and your Z so let's go ahead and move it up we want our chimney to stick past the house a bit and I think that looks fine and what I'm gonna do is when I when I um, export this into SketchUp we'll then add some texture to make this you know give this that chimney look uh, probably use some brick or some stone or something and uh, yeah let's go ahead and create an entrance also let's I'm thinking maybe go ahead and add a, a curtain wall to the front give it some glass so let's see here store front um, 11 feet off the wall there so about there and you know we can change the uh, we can put that center actually you know just select the curtain wall you know we can find the center all right you know and we can we can expand this if we want um, you know if you want a short entrance or I kind of want it high I want it as high as possible yeah, I think that looks good get some good sunlight going inside and uh, you know let's get a little patio drawn here for the entrance so let's just throw a slab throw a slab on there like this you know end up putting some railing along the perimeter of this slab a door so let's go ahead and pop a door in here you gotta toggle through until you get that window pane you unpin it and you want to get rid of this guy you gotta walk through toggle through again using tab ah, come on there we go and uh, I should have something now so just go to edit we'll load in a door a glass door let's go to our doors here whoops here we go let's 
single glass door. We could uh, yeah, let's do a single glass door. All right. So we got our door here. Um, we got our chimney here. And uh, I'm thinking I want to add some skylights. So, you know, up high. So what we'll do here is we'll just edit this roof. And uh, let's go into plan here. And we can just simply just offset some lines. So let's offset. Uh, Let's see where eight foot puts it. Oh, sorry. Let's see what eight feet will put will put us. Um. All right, and let's go eight feet again. Fourteen. Fourteen. Let me start trimming. Some lines. Keep this line. Oop. There we go. Keep this line. All right. You're gonna want to take the pitch or the 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 defined slope. You want to unselect it for all of those. That's how we get that opening. And what we'll do, we'll go in, hit, go in here and uh, trim out this. Uh, you can do it here in uh, Revit, or you can do it when you move to SketchUp. But this is just going to be a big opening, a big glass opening, just letting in some sunlight, giving it some character. Um, and I'll just do the one side for now. And uh, that's it for part two. Um, stay tuned for part three. And uh, we'll keep moving on with this until we get it to its rendering stage and, and its final stage. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks.